Next, we will talk about message ordering in PubSub. PubSub don't offer message ordering, and there is a very significant reason for not offering message order. Here, order means delivering a message in sorting order based on event time or a predefined sequence. When we talk about a single machine and a single user, it is easier to decide message order. But when we deal with multiple machines, it become quite complex process. To understand the situation, let's take some example. This is how a simple message delivery looks like. Here, there is one publisher and one subscriber, and the messaging service is processing the messages. Publisher is sending messages M1, M2, and so on. It's simple and easy to achieve message ordering in this case. So messages will be delivered as first M1, then M2, and so on, with the same order as they were published. Now let's increase the throughput. Here we have increased the number of publishers. Now it seems to be little difficult to provide ordering because publishers are not communicating with each other. So the messaging service has to handle orders, and that would increase the latency. We are using a single subscriber, and it would also take some time to process the message. So again, latency would increase. After some time, messages would be in backlog, and subscriber would not able to process in comparatively with publishers. So let's increase more subscribers. Now we have multiple publishers and multiple subscribers. It would become the challenge to maintain the orders because the consumer is not a single subscriber. Also, each subscriber can take its own time to process the individual message because of the network and the processing power. If we go a little bit deeper, PubSub has a very complex architecture inside that contains multiple servers, multiple load balancers, and a storage system. So, a single message can travel from any load balancer and any server. That would make it difficult to maintain order. So, order and scalability with low latency are quite opponent to each other. If we want to achieve scalability with low latency, then we have to be non-reliant on orders, which is why PubSub service doesn't offer in-order message delivery. Any solution that enforces strict ordering of messages is going to come at expense of performance and throughput. No matter what message delivery system you use, you should only depend on order when it is absolute necessary. Whenever possible, design your applications to avoid a dependency on message order. You will then be able to scale easily. Sometimes order can be achieved during data processing. Users can include a sequence token in messages or add the event time in message metadata. And later during the message processing, you can group data according to the event time instead of processing time. Google's big data processing product Dataflow allows the streaming data processing in a very efficient manner and also can help message ordering. Next, we will talk about. Some of the perfect use cases for the PubSub. We can use PubSub where we don't need to maintain order. For example, you are using a third-party service and want to send system logs to the Google Cloud platform. Then PubSub is the perfect solution. Order delivery services can use PubSub to store all the operational events, and Google has great products like Dataflow, BigQuery to perform analysis on terabytes of data in seconds. PubSub can be used. For data streaming from IoT devices, sensor events of cell phone towers, driving vehicle tracking devices can directly stream data into PubSub. PubSub can be also useful for Android notifications.